A boy noticed a mound of fine dirt at the end of the driveway with a small hole in the center. Not caring or knowing where it came from, he kicked the dirt into the road with his shoe. Hours passed, and on his way into the house for lunch, he noticed it was there again. This continued until he asked his dad what it meant. The father taught his son an important character quality of a champion, pointing out that we should consider the ant because no matter what anyone or anything will do to their home, they relentlessly just begin rebuilding and storing food for the future. The ant teaches us personal responsibility. The Olympics are over in Tokyo, but the Paralympics are 13 days away and they are coming up in August, and I hope you will continue to watch the Paralympics as much as you did the Olympic Games, because we can learn a great deal from Paralympians as much, if not more, than we can from Olympians. I'm Jungle Jim Hunter, and you're listening to 831 Living Your Best Life podcast, where we inspire participation, communicate precision, and empower performers to podium. And I hope that if you will listen to this podcast, you will tell your friends and those that are you're working with to go to their favorite podcast provider or junglejimhunter.com or YouTube, and then subscribe and download and click on like, rate and review us, and become an 831-er, somebody that is inspired to live their best life because... You were inspired by this podcast to live your best life. Well, the Olympic Games are over and all of us have to start over. We've got to go back to work and we've got to do what we usually do. And we've got to participate in the jobs that we have. And of course, the Olympian is doing the same thing. And every Olympian has to start over with personal responsibility after the games are over. And we want to win, but sometimes we're detoured when we lose and we lose focus of the task at hand. Facing challenges with enthusiasm with this little thought in the back of your head should be your focus. The road to the next level is uphill. Yes, it's always uphill. Now, that isn't being negative. That's being positive because you are facing the truth of what you are faced with. We want to win because we show up and we attempted to. But we want everything to go our way because we're in the game and we want the game to go our way. We want every call, bounce, break, or everything that happened to us and in us to go in our favor. It's okay to want these things, but if we focus on these things, which are our wants, we will find it hard to see what we need. Look at the statement again. The road to the next level is uphill. It's the next level you have to climb to. Inherent in the words is the solution to what you need. It's a step higher, and there is no other way to get there except up. Put yesterday behind you as quickly as possible and refocus on what you must do to be better next time. It's not about what our wants are. It's about what we need. You need to continually raise your level of expectation for yourself by raising your level of preparation and then beg for each challenger to make it tougher. Yes, I said tougher, making it as tough as possible so you can grow to be able to claim the next level with confidence. Change your mind. Don't go to the arena wanting your competition to let you have it. Go to the arena wanting your competition to kick over your anthill, bringing their best, bringing out the best in you. The victory won is much grander and much greater, and the growth inside you greater than it ever could have been if it was just easy. My quote for the day, what you need has to become what you want. So what you want becomes what you need. I'm Jungle Jim Hunter, and you've been listening to 831 Living Your Best Life podcast. And I thank you for listening. And I hope you will have grown and will be living your best life the next time we meet.